alcoholic, ex-con, married. I've dated every one of these guys. <laughs> Nobody interesting ever comes in here. That's not true. My old buddy Danny Rodick's coming into town this week. Remember the time he fit six pickled eggs in his mouth all at once? Worst Easter egg hunt ever. <laughs> so where are you and Dan going ice fishing this year, Pop? Now nah, we got us a place up in Canada. Huh? Speaking of Canadians, look who found himself a new Mountie. <laughs> Hey, Simon. Hey, Bobby. Hey, this is Lance, my new teaching assistant. Hey, how you doing? Good. Lance just moved into the neighborhood, so I thought I'd bring him to the kind of bar where everybody knows your name. <laughs> hey, Mace. Hey, Poof Daddy. <laughs> Last week, it was notorious G-A-Y. Uh, <laughs> it's nice meeting you. Why don't you take a table? I'll send Maddie right over. This year, Danny and I up the ante to 100 bucks on who catches the biggest fish. Why do you two always have to be so competitive? Which reminds me, Bobby. Yeah, ma. Get that Zaniac machine out of here before Dan arrives. You got it. Audrey, would you relax? It was just a game. We had a friendly little disagreement. You had him in a headlock. <laughs> it's a wonder he didn't choke to death on all the pickled eggs in his mouth. Six. There's nothing wrong with a little healthy competition. All I know is that game brings out the worst in you two. It's gone until Dan is. Five! <laughs> So, you see, Maddie, Lance here gets invaluable experience assisting a seasoned teacher like myself while pursuing his graduate degree. Okay. For the record, when a waitress asks you, how's it going, the correct response is, fine, two beers. <laughs> what if one of us wants a mimosa? <laughs> fine, two beers. Uh, just for the record, I wasn't the mimosa. Yeah, I know. I suppose uh, being a waitress, you develop a sixth sense for these kind of things, huh? Not really. It's just you're looking at my chest, and he's looking at my shoes. I'm sorry. They're very smart. <laughs> your shoes, not your breasts. Two beers. OK, I take back what I said about nobody interesting ever coming in here. Lance is a cutie. Come on, Maddie. The guy's a grad student. So? So let's say yes, yeah. He start talking about, I don't know, Francis Bacon. You'd probably think he meant some special bacon from France, and then you'd say how you prefer Link's sausage, and then you get that look. Man, I hate that look. Okay, we're not talking about me anymore, are we? I'm just saying he's out of your league. Bobby, don't say he's out of the league. That's so mean. Say they're incompatible or not a good fit. Well, they're from different worlds. Well, there's no freaking way in hell they belong together. Be nice. <laughs>《我说 glum, bad day at the spa》uh,。My Watsu healing therapist told me my core is rotten. <laughs> They just say that to get the suckers to come back. I bought ten more sessions. <laughs> Hey, how was skating? Oh, it was great. We were the cutest couple there by far. Oh, once Liz body checked a cuter couple off the ice. <laughs> Their sweaters matched. They were begging for it. <laughs> What's his problem? His core is rotten. Ah, Shakespeare. <laughs> There's that look again. We're gonna go again tomorrow afternoon. You two should come. Oh, I'd love to, but after school, some of my third graders are finishing up a display of the Boston Tea Party for open house. Really? Well, why didn't you ask me to help? The kids love me. <laughs> yeah, they sure do. <laughs> yeah, last semester, it was my critical eye that turned their dreary dioramas into Purple Mountain's majesty. Yes, it was. But I have Lance to help me now when he could really use the experience, so. Yeah. Why is it always the children who suffer? Speaking of Lance, Bobby said Maddie likes him. Likes him, likes him, or likes him, likes him? Oh, he said she said she thinks he's cute. Jeepers, the playground's all a buzz. <laughs> you know, Lance likes Maddie too. Oh, no, no, no you don't. Every time you try and fix someone up, it always ends in disaster. It does not. No, Jeffrey and Susan, not speaking. John and Josh, not speaking to us. Ellen and Lissa, knife fight. <laughs> They couldn't agree on a silver pattern. <laughs> well, don't worry. Maddie knows she's not right for Lance. Oh, no. You didn't tell her that, did you? Of course not. <sighs>
Why didn't I? You did! Bobby, how could you do that? Well, come on, Liz, they got nothing in common. Simon, please, do us a favor, don't do this. Okay, here's the plan. <laughs> I'll invite Maddie after school to help with the kids. Lance will be there, Maddie will be there. Oh, it's perfect, uh -huh. but we won't tell them it's a fix-up. Oh, absolutely. We don't want there to be any pressure. <laughs> this is gonna be bad, isn't it? Yes, and in front of children. <laughs> It'll be fun, and my dad could use the help. Yeah, but why me? I don't want to go back to third grade. Ugh, two years was enough. <laughs> okay, I really shouldn't be telling you this, but Lance is gonna be there, and he told my dad he thinks you're kind of hot. Really? Oh, I, I don't know. It's just, he's so smart and educated and everything. I'll be afraid I'll say something really stupid and blow it now that it's been pointed out how totally out of my league he is. Look, I'm sorry about that, all right? Uh, all I meant was you're from two different worlds, okay? He's from one world, you're from another world that's not as good. Hey, Bobby, what's the special today? Eggs and Francis Bacon? I'm out. Come on, Maddie, I know this can work. You're right. Maybe he's sick of all those brainy girls and their good grades. Hmm. Besides, I wouldn't trade my C's for any A in town. <laughs> hey, O'Neal, what's a guy got to do to get a beer around here? Bay's freaking bot tap. <laughs> Daddy! Man, you look like a million bucks. Yeah, you do in a $10 sack. <laughs> Andre, Bobby, look who's here. Hey, Bobby! Hey, Dan. <laughs> Andre! No spins! No spins! Oh! Maddie Cakes! Danny boy! <laughs> Come on, Danny. Let's load your gear in my truck and we'll get going. Your truck? We got gear to bring up and fish to bring back. We need the biggest truck. That's mine. Like hell it is. Mine is bigger than yours. Are you kidding? Mine is twice as big. That's it. I'm getting a tape measure. Come on. <laughs> there they go again. At least this year it's the trucks. <laughs> Why all the cotton swabs? I'm gonna make plumes of white smoke come out of the British muskets. That's very creative, but the Boston Tea Party was a peaceful protest. Not a shot was fired. I know, but you gotta have sizzle if we wanna put butts in the seats. <laughs> Mr. Banks, yeah. the boys' restroom is dangerously low on hand soap. All right, thanks, Nathan. I'll make a note. And there's a woman in the hall that's wearing a top that violates the dress code. We don't have a dress code. I do. <laughs> Oh, attention, everybody. I have a little surprise for you. I've asked a friend of mine to come help us with our project today. Aww. Not Philip again. He makes us clean up like every three seconds. <laughs> he said my picture of a house was hackneyed and derivative. <laughs> I like Mr. Stoddard. He was very perceptive. No, 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 it's not him. Who is it? It's Maddie from the bar. Oh. And I really shouldn't be telling you this, but she said that she thought you were kind of cute, so it's really kind of a setup. Whoa, whoa, setup? Whoa, I'm really bad with setups. They do something to me. Oh, don't be silly, you'll be fine. Betty? Everybody, say hello to Miss O'Neill. Hi, Miss O'Neill. Hi, kids. Look, call me Maddie, okay? Because Miss O'Neill makes me want to puke. <laughs> Lance, you remember Maddie? Yeah, hi. Hi. Interesting word, hi. Did you know that the only state in the Union where they don't say hi is Hawaii, where they say aloha, yet ironically, hi, H-I, is their postal abbreviation? Uh-huh. Uh, Maddie, why don't you hang your coat up and uh, meet us over at the chalkboard? Okay. okay. Oh, good God, I'm an idiot. No, no, you've gotten across smart, now just try and get across normal. Okay? It's just, there's so much pressure, it was so much easier in the bar. Well, wow, it's always easier in a bar. Just picture the kids with martinis. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Uh, why don't you two take this construction paper and stencil some letters for the display? Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, what color paper do you want to use? Uh, red. Red's good. 
You know, paper making was developed in China in 105 AD by Tsai Lun, Emperor Huddy's chief eunuch. I knew that. I think I'm just gonna go help over there. Okay. Hi ho, everyone! Oh. Oh. Mr. you promised. <laughs> Mine is eight inches longer. Yeah. <laughs> He's talking about his truck. <laughs> Come on, just let me get my gear and we'll hit the road. Look out, fish. Look out, Canada. <laughs> oh, Liz, what are you doing? Somebody stuck this in the ladies' room. <laughs> Liz, don't. Sunny, I'll go with you. Choose your weapon. <laughs> you still got that old game? Don't listen to it, Mace. Leave while you still can. Oh, geez, Audrey, will you take a pill? We said we were going fishing, and we're going fishing. Thank you. <laughs> you came this close to opening the gates of hell. Every day, your mother and I grow closer. All right, one game, that's all. Yeah, just do a traffic let up. Mr. Stoddard, mm. look at this Native American headdress I made. Oh, excellent, Nathan. <laughs> and, uh, what's this? It's a horse. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> e for effort, though. Oh, yeah? Well, you get an F for... William. I know. Time out, corner. Five minutes. <sighs> You know, you really don't need to be here. Oh, are you kidding? I couldn't let these kids down. No, really, go ahead. I can handle disappointment. My parents are divorced. <laughs> if you are going to stay, which is so generous of you, <laughs> you might want to try and deal with the kids in a more supportive way. Uh, Simon, I suggest you spend a little less time micromanaging me and a little more time pulling the plug on your little fix-up. They just need a defibrillator. Clear. Lance, Maddie, I need you two to make a sign for the front of the podium, right? I'm sure you two can come up with something if you just put your heads together. Okay. Right. So, um, what, what's the sign supposed to say? Welcome, parents. A and it goes in the front of the podium. Yeah. Although technically it isn't one. It, it isn't what? A podium, it's actually a lectern. A podium is what a conductor stands on. Like on a train. Uh, I meant a symphony conductor. Though I guess you could say they are trained. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was making a joke. I mean, I know that, that, that train conductors don't stand on platforms. I mean, I mean podiums, lecterns. Never mind. Uh, no, they're still not even. I hope none of you had dinner plans tonight. <laughs> crowd me, Rhoda! Oh, you are a crowd, O'Neal! Quit bumping me! Yeah, I'm not bumping you! You're throwing elbows! This is throwing elbows! Oh. How can two grown men turn into such idiots over a stupid video game? Didn't I call next like an hour ago? I feel like this is all my fault. We all do, dear. First, I'm gonna kick your ass, then I'm gonna kick your ass out of here. Fine, because I wouldn't go fishing with you if you were made of bait. That's it. Game over. What the hell did you do that for? Because we've had enough. What is it with you two? You're the best of friends, but whenever you get together, it always ends up in a fight. Yeah, nobody asked me, but it sounds like this is about more than just a video game. That's true, sweetheart. Nobody asked you. <laughs> Besides, we're not fighting over a video game. We're fighting over the fact that he's a cheater. I never cheated at anything in my life. <sighs> oh, what's that? Nothing. Doesn't sound like nothing to me. Ah, uh, half the time he doesn't even know what he's mad about. Ah, uh, you want to know what I'm mad about? I'll tell you. St. Anthony's High, 11th grade boxing championship. What? O'Neill versus Rodak for the middleweight title. Middleweights? Where, on the moon? 
We stick to the topic here. My family was there, my friends were there, the whole damn neighborhood was there. And this clown put heating rub in my cup. It was a joke, you big wuss. Maybe to you, up until then I was known as Hurricane O'Neill. But thanks to you, after then I've been forever known as Fireballs. <laughs> You told us you were called Fireballs because you were such a good pitcher. And you told me it was because of something else. Hey, it's not like it changed the outcome of the fight. Like hell it didn't. I could have beat you with one hand tied behind my back. Are you sure? Because you couldn't do it with one hand down your trunks. Oh, that's it, brother. Right here, right now. Oh, come on. Oh, you want some of this? No, 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 no. We're going to settle this once and for all. I still got the gloves if you've got the guts. Bring it on, fireballs. <laughs>
You guys remember Lance, right? The one who was totally out of my league? <clears throat> it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Told you so. Clearly, this has been a day of great triumph for you. Well, we're out of here. I'm gonna hold the bet money until we find out who won. I'm coming with you. <laughs>